Hey friends, and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be doing some more super fun thrift flips. I thrifted these candlesticks for $10. They sold on my site for $49.95. Now it's time to get them painted up. We're gonna do a really fun drippy finish on these using some pretty neutral colors. I've got DIY crinoline, DIY sandy blonde. This DIY paint sticks to just about any surface. I gave these candlesticks a quick wash and look at the amazing coverage I'm getting with this first base layer. I'm using my Klingon R12 brush to get down into all the little details very easily. Now is the fun part. We are going to do a paint wash. I've got the sandy blonde and I'm mixing it about one part paint to one part water and really watering it down. But notice this paint is so highly pigmented, even watered down, it has amazing color. Now I'm taking a little bit of that paint and applying it over my details, then using a mister bottle full of water to drip the paint down the candlestick. I do this method to both candlesticks and let it dry completely before going on with my next color, which is DIY Skeleton Key. Still a very light, neutral, pretty color, but that pop of blue is just gorgeous. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what your favorite color is right now. I've been getting a ton of requests to use blue paint. I really like to let my layers dry between on the strippy finish. I don't want to end up blending the colors. I want to let them drip. Once they're both dry, I'm going and wet distressing back the details. I just have a rag with some water on it. Since DIY paint is water soluble until it's sealed, I can distress back all the little pops of detail. How pretty. And now I'm sealing it up very easily with some clear wax on a chip brush just applying an even layer over the entire candlestick. And then I decide for a little pop of color, I will use the golden rule, which is a gold gilding wax. And I just touch it over a few high points on the candlesticks. And here's a look at them all finished up. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think of this paint finish. We see a lot of dry brushing, a lot of chippy layers, but a paint wash is something I want to do even more of. These have sold, but you can recreate this finish by buying the paint and products at upcycledbybreed.com. For any of the paint and products or the flips you see today, head on over to my website, upcycledbybreed.com, and I'll also link everything down in the description box below as well. This charging station was $9 at the thrift store. I've had it listed for a while, it hasn't sold, so I need to get it painted and show the potential. I begin by removing the faux leather off the top, using a little lemon oil to take off the sticky residue. I clean that off with some 90% alcohol to remove any excess oil, and then it's time for paint. I'm using my F30 brush, which is a nice flat brush that gets really well into these 90 degree angles. DIY weathered wood is going to complete this look beautifully. Notice as I sand it down, you can see some pretty color variation. I went ahead and took it outside to seal it up with some Rust-Oleum Matte Clear Spray just to make it a little bit easier. It was a beautiful day. I've brought it back inside once it's dry and I grabbed a paper bag. I love this beautiful brown paper for an industrial look. I cut that to fit into the slot and grabbed my JRV stencils. This is the letter number trio pack. I've got one, two, three, and a JRV 3 8 inch stencil brush. I'm using layered chocolate for my stencil. I get just a little bit of paint on my brush and offload most of that onto the paper towel. And then using a stippling method, I am filling in my stencils. A fun little trick you may not know, you can take DIY clear wax and a little bit of any color paint and make your own colored waxes. It will change the 
formula of the wax just a little bit, but the color is so pigmented, you don't need much paint and you still have a really beautiful wax. Just make sure you give it plenty of time to dry when you're done. So I mixed up a little sandy blonde with the clear wax and I'm using a chip brush to give a weathered finish to this weathered wood look. I could have used the white wax, that's really pretty too, but I didn't want such a stark contrast between the brown paper and the white wax, so that sandy blonde was just perfect. Here is a look at the final charging station. What a difference from a grungy, dingy, old looking charging station to a beautiful new piece of decor that you could use to organize anything in your home. Last project today are these topiaries. I thrifted them for $4 a piece at the same store, but in two different thrift trips. Isn't that funny? When I saw the second one, I was like, oh my gosh, I totally have the other one at home already. So I grabbed it and it's time to make them over. I'm using Sweet Pickens Crackle Medium to give them a little prep before the milk paint. I'm using a sponge brush and applying a very, very thin layer. I'm trying to get a very small amount of crackle and I just put it in a couple of spots. I've mixed up my milk paint. It's one part paint to one part water and I'm adding in just a couple little drops here of the extra bond. That is an additive that's gonna help the milk paint stick to a slick surface. I let the crackle dry for several hours per the instructions and now I'm going on with my paint after I let it sit up for about 15 minutes. I only did one layer of paint, notice it's not full coverage, I wanted some of that beautiful drippy finish on it. You can see some spots here where I hit it with the crackle, you got that beautiful distressed crackle look. I love thrifting these old topiaries, you can give them a new life really easily and they have such a high end look. These pots are filled with cement and I took all of the old floral off, all of the old moss off and gave them a really nice dusting. After I sanded down that paint, I'm going in with the Sweet Pickens New Formula Matte Top Coat and I'm just using a brush and applying it. Notice it's a little shiny when you apply it, but once it's dry, it is beautifully matte. A little hot glue and some fresh Spanish moss goes into the pot. And then I take a few boxwood picks and rose picks. These are just florals from Walmart and poke them in to the twine ball on the top of these topiaries. A super simple flip and look what a pretty update these became. I did also cut off the weird little twig that was coming out of the pot going up to the topiary and I think it gave them a nice fresh clean look. Drop me a comment, let me know what you think about my topiary makeover. Is this something you would thrift and redo yourself? Thanks for hanging out with me today and taking care of a few projects that I needed to get done. If y'all enjoyed this thrift flip video, be sure to give me a thumbs up and send it out to a friend, which will help my channel continue to grow. If you haven't yet, subscribe and hit the notification bell to all so you don't miss any new videos. And until next time, I'll see y'all later. Bye friends. Of course, if you're looking for any of the paint or products, oh look, it looks like the hat's on my head.